like they tired of that. Like they're weary of
myself away so you can use me. Give myself away.
Galilean. Even the way you talk, it, it betrays you. You're a Galilean. You don't want to get us here. I'm sad. Y'all can find him what he said. I don't know him. And this is the same man, the same man that stood up. Uh, and I referred you, uh, you didn't read it, but I referred you to the second chapter of Acts. He's the same one that stood up before all the crowd, the masses, and said, and proclaimed the name of Jesus with boldness, even to the point of him being hurt. So Peter uh, went through some ups and some downs regarding his faith. And even past Pentecost, Paul runs into Peter in Galatia. And Peter's all hugged up on the brothers. My brothers, my Christian baby. Yeah, I know you're Gentile, but you're my brothers. Mm -hmm. And then when some big falutin folks from Jerusalem, big dogs from Jerusalem church, they come up there. Peter, look at all. Oh, here come Bishop, Reverend, the other doctor. I can't let him see me all hugged up on these. And he happened to be there with Paul. And Paul saw what he did. And the brothers that he did it to, they saw what the leader of the church, how he conducted himself. And so Paul said, I, I snatched Peter up right in the midst. <coughs> and so uh, this is the same guy. There's something about adversity. <coughs> That puts stuff on your mind. Right? Right. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see how that, how that goes. Out of the seventh chapter, um, the subject matter comes up of John the Baptist. Um, I'm going to start reading at the um, 18th verse of chapter 7. I'm reading from the New King James Version. And it reads, and the, and the disciples of John showed him all these things. And John, calling to him two of his disciples, sent them to Jesus, saying, are you he that should come, or should we look for another? And when the men will come to him, they said, John the Baptist sent us to you, saying, Are you he that should come, or look we for another? In the same hour, he cured many of their infirmities, and plagues, and of evil spirits. And unto many that were blind, he gave sight. Right. Then Jesus answered and said to them, Go your way, tell John what things you have seen and heard. How that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised. To the poor, the good news is preached. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. And when the messengers of John were departed, he began to speak to the people concerning John. I'm going to stop there. But I'm not going to stop there. You, you can read on down. Uh, uh, for our information, those of you that are not familiar with this particular passage. Jesus has come to come through a place called Nain. As he, has, as he was passing uh, on his way, he ran across a funeral procession. And they were carrying uh, 
what is translated a buyer. Uh, but what it is, it's, it's, our, uh, it's our coffin. <coughs> it's their rendition of a coffin. And they were carrying a coffin as Jesus was going by. And, uh, and it so happened that uh, there was a crowd around in this procession. It was a funeral procession. And, and there, was a there was a woman there. She was weeping uh, something fierce because the one the one's remains that was in the in the coffin, it was her son. And the Bible says that it was her only son. It's an indication that the woman did not have a husband. Doesn't mention anything like that. But the Bible says that as Jesus passed by, he had compassion on her because he knew that this was her only son. Okay? And so he put his hand, the Bible says, on the coffin. And the procession stopped. And the Bible says that Jesus spoke to that dead man and he got up. That's right. And it said that when that happened, people got to blast in his name again. This great man of God, a great prophet, has come amongst us. This is God has shown us in our midst. And, and, and I mind you, at this particular juncture, the Jews really had not heard from God for 400 years. Wow. Wow. There was nothing going on like what Jesus was doing for 400 plus years. They had not heard or seen anything like this. They were continuing to have church. Oh. They were continuing to attend the synagogues and, yeah. and teach the law. But, but the law had been uh, added to Men, stuff had been in there, so God brings his son to set some things straight. So his, his fame just blew up uh, just once again throughout they were talking in. And then it comes to this issue of the man, John, who we call the baptizer. Well, for those of you not familiar, the baptizer is now in jail. Right? Uh, this is the first time that John has been in prison. And that's, not, that's what I was saying. See, that's, there's something about uh, adversity that puts a change even on some of the most devout people that you'll run across. In our time, uh, and, and so many of you have lived longer than I, some of you have lived far longer than I. Some of you have lived far, far longer. <laughs> and that's, that's okay. That's all right. But, but, but here's the thing. There has never been in my, uh, even in those things that I've read, there have never been such a time of the various kinds of cancers. Everything is giving you cancer now. Matter of fact, the medicine that you take, giving, giving folk, making folk, uh, and, and, and if you if you just listen to some of your commercials, mm -hmm. now this may cause blindness, yeah. it may cause your ears to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> so my question is, why would you <laughs> they cause you to lose that eye, you know, blindness, eye, your hearing may go out. Huh? I'm not making light. But it is, it's good to be able to have handles on this stuff. <laughs> what I mean to say is, is that uh, 
adversity comes not at God's design. You, you need to have that. See, God doesn't test his folk. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. God does not test your faith by adversity. Never. Your faith is tested by adversity by someone or something that has something against you. Oh, you're a follower of Christ, are you? You will remember a man by the name of Job? Right? Now, it wasn't God's idea to cause that sickness to come on Job. But God allowed it to come. Do y'all hear me? There's a great difference. Well, John, for the first time, is in prison. All the time John's been out there in the wilderness, preaching against the king and his wife's situation, because his, his wife, the king was married to really somebody in his family. And John is out there telling him, you know that's not right, it's not right, I don't care what you say, I know you're the king, and John's out there in the wilderness, he's preaching it, he's got his fire from the Lord, he's preaching it, when he sees Jesus coming at the Jordan River, John is down there baptizing, he sees Jesus, and he unashamedly says, behold, the Lamb of God, you should have heard him, booming down the Jordan Way. That takes away the sins of the Lord. John said, boldly, and, and, and John's reputation amongst the people, surely this is a man of God, not even afraid of the king. Look at him out there, denouncing the king's marital situation, denouncing the wrongs of the people, denouncing sin. Look at that man of God. But now, King got married to put him in jail. <laughs> so John was saying, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Who's been protecting me all this time? Keeping me free to preach, to, to teach. Who are My God, God says, repent. That's what he been out there saying. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, and now I'm in jail. Put me in prison. And I'm in here for some days. I'm in here for some time. And so, I'm just, I'm just wait a minute now. Maybe Jesus is not here. Cause, because, see now, wait a minute, I'm in prison. I ain't never been in here before. Uh, and Jesus is my blood. Yeah. yeah, Jesus and John the Baptist, they were cousins. <laughs> so my, 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 my close kin, my blood, go, with the power that I believe that he had, gonna let me be here, stay here, maybe die here. John said, wait a minute now. Let me call some of my fellows here. Right. Hey, y'all, y'all. Yeah. Go and ask him. Now before, Jesus ain't said nothing to him. Jesus just walking down the street. Yeah. He just walking down the way and John said, there he is. Yeah. And now, yeah. he don't know.
See, now you say, you know, yeah, we ought to light other world. We let our light so shine. But see now, there are some times when you want to cut the power source off, don't you? Sometimes when, when folk want, want to get up in your face, folk time, sometimes when, when folk want to talk to you like you're less than this and, and less than that, sometimes when the issues of life come upon you and see now, you know how to make some money other than legally. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. See? Yeah. And then, then that's when you start looking for that switch. You saw that? Where is that thing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. John started feeling around his cell. Yeah. He said, "Go and go and ask him. Yeah. Is he the one, mm -hmm. or should we look for somebody else? Mm -hmm. Is Jesus in your life? Mm -hmm. Is the Savior of the world? Is the is the is El Shaddai, God Almighty, uh, El Shalom, God my peace. Is, 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 is he the one that sits upon the spiritual, the, 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 is there though, the throne of your heart? And go ask him. And now you'll notice what Jesus did. Jesus didn't tell those disciples that from John's disciples, he didn't just say to them, go tell them, yeah, I'm the one. Right. Okay? Go tell them, yeah, I'm the one. Look at what he did. Mm -hmm. He had them <laughs> because they weren't sure. He let them follow him. Mm -hmm. And they were witnesses of what he did. <laughs> so, watch this. Whether John believed them or not, they were now convinced. Mm -hmm. See? So, wow. go and tell John, not what I said, but what you <laughs> saw. Wow. Is that how your witness does? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, so many of y'all, Y'all, y'all like to, well, you know, you know, but Parker said A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. But see now, you really don't know that that's the alphabet for yourself. When they went back and they said, we, I ain't telling you what we heard. Mm. Yes, sir. He is. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Who they say he is. And, 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 and second, second Baptist Church, this church fellowship, who do folks say Jesus is by what you have written? See, if I go down to our neighboring spots here, go over to the projects over here, uh, and I say, well, who the second Baptist say Jesus? You know what? So many of them will say, well, we don't even know. We don't even know. Second Baptist. <laughs> now, 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 mind you, we chuckle, chuckle a little bit about that, but that's not funny. See, there are so many churches, not many thousand churches in this community, and how many of them have actually stepped over to the? Watch this. How, how many of us? Have ever stepped over to that door, right next door, and knocked on it mm -hmm. as an introduction of Christian love. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. We're getting, you ready to celebrate 144 years. Mm -hmm. 
145. <laughs> what you been doing? John, and John is not sure because he's in prison. And, and, and when your adversity comes, do you have an understanding that God didn't do it? No. Because too many of us are still locked in. It's just locked into us. If God is so righteous, if God is so holy, then why does he allow, why did he allow that baby uh, two weeks ago, uh, uh, an innocent baby sitting in a yard to receive a gunshot through her eye? Yeah. He's so righteous. If, he, if he's looking out to everybody, but why? Why is all of this mayhem? Why is all of this uh, 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 a murder and, and a bill? Why? If, if, he's, if he's all that, and he's in control. Yeah. Well, let me tell you how come there's so much of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The reason that it's to the point that it is, is because you do nothing.
to put in prison righteousness. Mm. You mark Brother Parker's words. Five years. Five years. They'll put me in jail for preaching against homosexuality. It's in the works right now. Five years, it'll be done. And, 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 and you will. The church will. Be inside these walls. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. If I ask you how many of you are, are, are registered to vote, mm -hmm. how many of you are going to be at the, at the polls, mm -hmm. most of you won't. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. No doubt. Lord, Lord. Listen, listen. If you don't vote, you have a right to say nothing about conditions. <laughs> nothing. Well, if I can keep talking. Because adversity has, has got you thinking, my, my, it don't mean nothing. Right. They don't do what they want to do. That God can't do nothing about this. That's what you're saying. I'm in prison, I might as well act like I'm in prison and get acclimated to this environment. Mm. Mm. Not me. Change occurs. Watch this. And it is not for us. It is not for us to make a righteous government out of this secular government. Right, right, right. But it is to show the secular government right, right. that righteousness can and will walk tall yes. even in your midst. Right. We've got children that ought to be lawyers. We've got children that ought to be presidents. We've got children that ought to be senators and congressmen. Congressperson. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm. Righteous. Righteous. Holy. Yes, yes. All right. Yes, sir. I know it can be done. Yes. Mm. There was a man named Daniel. Hallelujah. Right. Right, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
John. John didn't die. Win this. Do y'all hear me? Hey, and, and, and as you go through your mess, go through your stuff, go through your issues of life, tell your mess. I, I, see what I mean? I, I talk to stuff. I, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Jesus talked to stuff. So I, I just talk right to it. My mother was sick. I talked right to the sickness. I was looking at my mother. And she was, she was out of mind. And I said, you know what? I was smiling too. <laughs> Y'all wasn't that holy spirit of my witness. I was smiling. My mother was sick. And I said, yeah. I said, I got to give it to you. I said, you have, you doing a humdinger now. Yeah. I said, my mother. I said, I never would have thought nothing, nothing like I said, I, I, I was talking to, to this stuff. I said, I've seen my mother go through hell with my dad. Right. Right. And always I heard my mother in our little, little four-room shanty that we lived in. Walls, paper thin, I could hear my mother. But my father wouldn't bring my money home. But Stanley went down on the corner and got with the fellas and, and they, and they, yeah, they, they popped a few times, they, they opened a few pipes, but, <coughs> but wouldn't bring the money to the house. Come on, come on. I could hear my mother yeah. crying, yeah. hard crying sometimes, yeah. calling on the name yes, sir. of the God that she said, yes, sir. I heard her say, Father. I stretch my hand to you. Yeah. You know, I've got these tears in the face. Yeah. And I'm tired of looking for eyes. Yeah. I'm tired of walking around getting like trying to find some money. He said, Father. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. I told the devil, I said, the sick girl, I said, man, you got a thing going. <laughs> My mother went through hell. Yeah. Ain't skip a beat. Yeah. Trust and call and trust and call and pray. Yeah. I was smart, I said, yeah. I said, but well, I got something to tell you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I said, you can't stay here. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I told you. Yeah. I spoke to the sick girl. Yeah. And I said, you won't stay here. Oh, that sickness. Uh, yeah. to see my mama, I said, I told you. <laughs> I want you to know. Y'all have seen my mother. Yes. Yes. In that house. Yes. Yes. 